but it came to my mind that the woman with the issue of blood wasn't even supposed to be public. She was supposed to be unclean outside, I think outside the city, but yet she's pressing through the crowd, touching everybody, making them unclean, and then had the nerve to go touch Yeshua Sitio to make him unclean, which brought up the conversation, me and Sarah, that how I never imagined, I never thought about Yeshua being unclean and having to go do the ritual purification of the sacrifice to cleanse himself. And then Sarah said she didn't think that she thought it would be the other way around, like he clear he cleansed the woman with the issue of blood, which would make him not pure unpure, but I'm thinking if the Pharisees were looking for a reason for him to accuse him of breaking Torah, that would have been it. Let's see, you touch you touch lepers, you touch un you touch dead bodies, you, the woman with the issue of blood touched you, and you didn't go and sacrifice and do your ritual purity because you're unclean, they would have lynched him in a heartbeat. The same. So he would have had to have done the ritual purities. Because it nowhere does it say it nor does it say he went off and did the ritual impurities, but it says he never broke Torah. So if he didn't break Torah, he had to have gone and purified himself and, and gone through that ritual. I just think that was really, really interesting today. Very interesting today. Very yeah. interesting. Shabbat shalom. Mm -hmm. Shabbat shalom.